Hop Harrigan is a 15-chapter movie serial that was released by Columbia Pictures in 1946. William Bakewell portrays the title character, Hop Harrigan, and Sumner Getchnell is his trustworthy sidekick, Tank Tinker. In the film, Hop and Tank run a small airport along with Hop's receptionist-slash-girlfriend, Gail Nolan, and her kid brother, Jackie. They are hired by entrepreneur Mr. Arnold to acquire the newest invention of one Dr. Tobor. Along the way, they must protect the offbeat doctor's invention from this serial's mystery villain, the chief pilot, and his gang of goons. Hop Harrigan first appeared in All American Comics No. 1, created by John L. Blumner in 1939. Hop Harrigan would meet fellow DC Comics characters from the Justice Society of America in All Star Comics No. 8 in a prose story. In All-American Comics, Hop would go on to join the U.S. Army Air Corps in World War II and fight against the Axis forces, much like the Justice Society or the All-Star Squadron, though he was never made a member of either group. Wow! This is like that stuff kids read about in those comic books. The serial, however, is set post-World War II and reflects a more mature Hop Harrigan. In fact, the relationship in the film between Hop and Gail Nolan's younger brother, Jackie, would parallel the relationship in the comic books between Prop Wash and a much younger Hop Harrigan, who was a teenage orphan. The Hop of the serial has a similar propensity to daring stunts in aviation. <laughs> I think the guy must have balls of admantium to get out and stand on a moving plane like that. In the pages of all American comics, Hop would perform a similar crazy stunt when he first meets Tank Tinker. Tinker's parachute gets caught on the tail of Prop Wash's plane, and then Hop lowers a knife to Tinker so he can cut himself free and land safely with the emergency chute. Tank is so impressed by the young man's flight from the country to the big city, he exclaims, Some Hop, Harrigan! And his newfound mentor, Prop Wash, declares that whatever his first name was, it would be Hop from then on. I wonder if the character of Prop Wash had any influence on this guy. Anyway, Dr. Tobor turns out to be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. He ends up putting a blindfold on Harrigan while flying to protect the secret location of his hidden laboratory. How would Hop fly without instrumentation? I don't know. Eventually, Dr. Tobor turns out to be more of a villain than the chief pilot by threatening to destroy the world. Hop's girlfriend in the film, Gail Nolan, is taken more from the radio series, while Mr. Arnold's daughter, Gwen, bears a similar resemblance to his girlfriend from All-American Comics, Jerry, which is short for Geraldine and a rich father. The serial itself isn't one of my favorites. I mean, for an ace of the airways, Hop spends a lot of his time driving around instead of flying, and when some flying actually does occur, it's either boring or ridiculous. Also, while I'm accustomed to the nature of the serial genre, this one's cliffhangers are never resolved in a satisfactory manner. I mean, I get it's a serial, a building blows up at the end of one chapter, and you know, you think your heroes are inside the building, and you want to know what happens next, and usually you find out they jumped out, but you just didn't get to see that part until the following segment. But in Hop Harrigan, they just kind of expect you to pretend the events of the previous chapter never happened. I mean, look at that. I'm sorry. That kid's toast. Yet in the following chapter, it's like he never crashed into the mountain. Or Hop gets shot in the rooftop here, only to find out in the next segment that Hop gets shot on the rooftop. But he's okay! I mean, at least they put Duke in a coma first. Even Michael Keaton got a steel plate. Give me something to work with here, people. Come on. Anyway, not really my favorite serial, but uh, if you're a completist, maybe you should check it out. Let's get nuts.